ओके एवेलवेट इंटरग्रल जीरो टू टू पाई साइन स्क्वायर थीटा बाय फाइव प्लस फोर कॉस थीटा डी थीटा यूजिंग कांटूर इंटरग्रल ओके नाउ द गिवन इंटरग्रल इज इंटरग्रल जीरो टू टू पाई साइन स्क्वायर थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव प्लस फोर कॉस थीटा इंट डी थीटा ओके so the given integral having the limit 0 to 2 pi and function involving sin and cos therefore this is contour integral of type 1 so first type of contour integral so in this type consider an unit circle c consider an unit circle c mod z equal to 1 The meaning of unit circle is radius one and center zero, zero comma zero, such that is it equal to e power i theta. Unit circle means it is e power i theta because every complex number, because every complex number, uh, corresponding polar form is r into e power i theta because r into cos theta plus i sin theta. Here radius is one, so one into e power i theta, e power i theta. So that if uh, if it is unit circle, then z can be written as e power i theta. Okay. So from this, you can write d theta is equal to d z by i z, and cos theta, and cos theta is equal to e z square plus one by two e z, and sin theta is equal to Z square minus one by two i z. So, if you want proof for this, refer the video def definition and working rule for contour integral. The link is available in the description box. Okay, so these are all our substitution for d theta. I want to put d z by i z, and for cos theta, I want to put z square plus one by two z. Okay, so one important thing. These are all only for the substitution in the denominator. Only for the denominator. For the numerator, we have to do something different. But the same formula we can apply for numerator also. But it will it will take uh, something. It 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 will be a difficult one. I have a uh, easiest method. That easiest method is for the numerator. We have to do something different. But these things are only for the denominator. This is very important one. You consider our consideration the formula. Everything only for the denominator, not for the numerator. For the numerator, we have to do something different. This is a uh, that is I am going to tell. Okay. So for the numerator, you see. Uh, we already consider is it equal to e power i theta. So in this type we consider is it equal to e power i theta. Okay, but you see in the numerator we uh, the given is sine square theta. Sine square theta formula is one minus cos two theta divided by two. Okay, here we have cos two theta. So that I am going to take squaring on both side. Z square is equal to e power i two theta. This e power i two theta can be written as cos two theta plus i sine two theta. Now listen carefully. What is cos two theta? It is real part of z square. Therefore, real part of z square is equal to cos two theta. This is very important one. So here. Cos two theta is a real part of z square. Okay, but in the numerator we have sine square theta. But we already written the formula for sine square theta. Sine square theta is one minus cos two theta divided by two. But what is cos two theta? It is real part of z square, which implies that real part of one minus z square by two. For for the sine square theta, I am going to substitute real part of one minus z square by two because cos two theta is the real part of z square. Are you clear? So for the numerator, I am going to substitute this. For the denominator, I am going to substitute this. Then we will continue the problem. 
okay so what the given integral integral 0 to 2 pi sin square theta divided by 5 plus 4 cos theta int d theta is equal to integral over c where c is the unit circle already we consider it is mod z equal to 1 so integral over c uh, for the numerator sin square theta it is real part of 1 minus z square by 2 whole divided by 5 plus 4 cos theta what is cos theta it is denominator in the denominator we have to substitute cos theta is equal to z square plus 1 by 2 z so that z square plus 1 by 2 z into d theta d theta is dz by i z dz by i z so now further i am going to take real part term outside real part of integral over c 1 minus z square by 2 whole divided by and now this 2 and 2 can be cancelled but I want to I, but in the numerator also we have 2 in the denominator so that you don't cancel this take LCM so 10 is at plus 4 take inside 4 is at square plus 4 divided by 2 is at and D is at by I is at okay listen is at is at cancel 2 2 cancel so take remaining terms okay so now for the simplification only 1 by i is a constant so I am going to take outside so real part of 1 by i integral over c 1 minus z square divided by you see in the denominator we can take 2 outside so 2 outside 2 z square plus 5 z plus 2 into d z okay so now this is integral over c f of z d z we know the formula for Cauchy residues theorem Cauchy residues theorem the formula for Cauchy residues theorem is integral over c f of z d z equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z so this is the formula for Cauchy residues theorem so this formula I am going to use here so by comparing this interval over c f of z dz equal to this is real part of 1 by 2 i into interval over c f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues of residues of f of z take this is equation number 1 where where f of z is this is f of z because already we considered by comparing these two this is only the f of z so where f of z is equal to 1 minus z square divided by 2 z square plus 5 z plus 2 so this is f of z by the formula we want to calculate residues of f of z so for this f of z i am going to calculate residues to find the residues first we have to find out the poles the poles are by equating the denominator equal to 0 we will get okay so that put the denominator equal to 0 2 z square plus 5 z plus 2 equal to 0 factorize 2 into 2 4 4 can be written as 1 into 4 4 1 plus 4 5 so that 2 z square plus z plus 4 z plus 2 equal to 0 take z outside in the first two terms 2 z plus 1 and here also take 2 outside so 2 our 2 z plus 1 and commonly 2 z plus 1 2 z plus 1 can take outside 2 z plus 1 in term z plus 2 equal to 0 and equating this 2 z plus 1 equal to 0 z plus 2 equal to 0 so that z is equal to minus 1 by 2 and z is equal to minus 2 there are two poles minus 1 by 2 and minus 2 
okay so the first of all i am going to take alpha alpha is equal to minus 1 by 2 and beta is equal to minus 2 okay in this type already we consider an unit circle c unit circle means the radius is 1 there are two poles if you take modulus this become 1 by 2 1 by 2 is less than the radius so that it is lies inside c inside the circle c are you clear because the radius is 1 but it is less than the radius after taking the modulus therefore alpha lies inside c but beta when you take modulus the value is plus 2 plus 2 is greater than the radius therefore beta lies outside c therefore alpha is a simple pole which lies inside the circle c beta is also simple pole but lies outside the circle c okay so that i am going to calculate residue for only alpha we don't want to find out residue for beta okay okay formula for the residues so residue of f of z at z equal to a is limit z tends to a z minus a into f of z so this is the formula for residue of f of z at z equal to a where a is a pole but here the pole is alpha so that i am going to write the formula for pole alpha so residue of f of z at z equal to alpha because alpha only lies inside c equal to limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha into f of z okay so what is f of z limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha into f of z f of z is given already we taken the function f of z is 1 minus z square by 2 z square plus 5 z plus 2 so substitute here so 1 minus z square divided by 2z square plus 5z plus 2 okay now here limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha into 1 minus z square divided by this is a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta so the quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta means this can be written as z minus alpha into z minus beta but the coefficient of z square you have to write in outside. This is very important one. The quadratic equation having the roots alpha and beta, then we can write z minus alpha and z minus beta. But the coefficient of z square you have to write outside. So the coefficient of z square is 2, write outside. Don't forget this is very very important one. After this z minus alpha, z minus alpha can be cancelled. So now substitute z into alpha here. 1 minus alpha square divided by 2 into alpha minus beta okay now i am going to substitute values 1 minus alpha value what is alpha value minus 1 by 2 taking square 1 by 4 whole divided by 2 into alpha value minus 1 by 2 and beta value is minus 2 so minus of minus plus 2 Okay, further simplification, 4 minus 1 is 3 by 4 in the numerator, divided by 2 into, 2 twos are 4, 4 minus 1, 3, so this is 3 by 2. Okay, so now 2, 2 cancelled, therefore 3 by 4 divided by 3. How will you write this? Listen. So this is 3 by 4 into, this is 3 by 1, take into numerator, 1 by 3. So 3, 3 cancel, 1 by 4 is the residue. You see, only one pole lies inside the circle C. We found corresponding residue. So now I am going to substitute in the first equation. What is the first equation? This is the first equation, sum of the residue says, but we have only one residue. Substitute here, you will be getting answer. Okay? So that the given integral substituting 1. The 1 is integral over 0 to 2 pi sin square theta divided by 5 plus 4 cos theta d theta is equal to is equal to 1 real part of 1 by real part of 1 by 2y 1 by 2y into 
टू पै ई इंट समाफ द रेसिड्यूस वि हव् ओनली वन रेसिड्यू वन बै फोर सी टू ई टू ई कैनसल सो फैनली रियल पार्ट आफ वन बै फोर ओनली रियल पार्ट कलेक्ट द रियल पार्ट ओनली वन बै फोर सो दैट वन इंटू पै पै बै फोर सो फैनल आंसर इज पै बै फोर इज द आंसर आफ द प्राब्लम